fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. A cloud of dust, a flash of light, and a hearty Hayo Morita. The Lone Stranger eats again. We can't let these devils get their hands on our Morita white bread, Tonto. No, because me once get my butter on Morita. Also peanut butter, jams, jellies. And chicken, cold cuts, and coyote meat. Right, Pronto. Morita is perfect for everything. It's baked while you sleep, so it's the freshest, best-tasting white bread. Missed me, you wanton criminal. And me wanton Marita. Also, children want Marita for lunch and snacks. So does the man who appreciates a really good sandwich. And the woman who wants to serve only the best. Look, them waving white flags. No, they're waving a white bread. And going away. Right, they know they can never hope to equal the fresh-baked white bread goodness of Marita. Good. Now, me want sandwich. Not plain coyote meat? No, coyote and cream cheese. Tune in again for those thrilling days of yesteryear. The Lone Stranger Eats Again. Hi-o, Marita! Away! With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, we go. Are you Silver? Hooray! Happy Morgan literally laughed at the law. His loud, raucous laughter was a trademark that was unmistakable whenever he and his gang of gun slicks went into action. For instance, one afternoon, he and his men boldly entered the Wells Fargo office in Rockton. Hey, hey, listen, be quick, mister. <laughs> Look at him safe, man. Think he's seen a ghost. <laughs> All right, clean out the safe. I'll take care of this monkhead this way. Oh. He's out like a light, happy. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Stu. <laughs> He's lucky I didn't plug him. All right, get busy, men. We ain't got all day. All right. Nothing stopped happy. One evening, a few nights later, the sheriff and his two deputies had returned from the hills with a posse. They were in the sheriff's office when... Great day, Happy Morgan and his gang. Oh, draw, Sheriff. Keep me covered, men, while I take their guns. Uh, uh, I'm all the nervy polecat oh, tricks. Nah, oh, nah, Sheriff. Control yourself. <laughs> I got the guns. Oh, Sheriff, don't look so glum. You ought to be happy like I am. <laughs> Stu, get the keys, open the cells, and lock them up. Right. Hold on now. We'll be the laughing stock of the town. At Why, the you, you're something to laugh at right now. <laughs> Put them in your cells, man. <laughs> News of the Morgan gang's exploits spread throughout the territory. The sheriff, in desperation, telegraphed the United States Marshal at Pecos for help. Through certain channels, the marshal got in touch with the Lone Ranger and Tonto, who immediately set out for the terror-stricken town. It's not easy to capture gang with a leader like Happy Morgan, Kimasabi. I know, Tonto. Morgan's a strange man, but a smart one. Ah. Then say him laugh plenty when gang commit crime. Yes, you might say it's the laugh of death, Tonto. Morgan's a killer. Ah. Me wonder why him laugh like that. I think it's a sign of a warped mind, Tonto. Happy Morgan may be trying to show his contempt, not only for law and order, but for life itself. He's a very dangerous man. Isn't that right? Well, we're only a few miles from Rockton, Kimasabi. I know. We'll find a place to camp in the nearby hills. Then we'll decide on a plan of action. Come on, Silver. You must come. A 
A short time later, the masked man and Indian made camp. The Lone Ranger decided to send Tonto with a note to the sheriff, asking him to come to the camp for a discussion after dark. That night at the appointed time, the sheriff met the masked man and Indian at their camp and related the various exploits of Happy and his men. He described Happy in great detail and ended by saying, The way he laughs sends shivers up my spine. Because when he's laughing, he's got the glint of murder in his eyes. I'm plumb tuckered out trying to figure how to outwit him and his cutthroats. How many followers does he have? Five. That makes six in the gang altogether. A posse of talmen should be able to handle five or six men easily. Well, yes, under normal circumstances, mister, but Happy Morgan has them all buffaloed. They're scared to pieces. Seems that madman type of laughing unnerves them. Morgan most likely figures on that, Sheriff. Well, he was smart enough to figure right, mister. When the men ride with a posse, they act like they hope we won't find the gang's hideout. Hmm. From what you tell me, Sheriff, it might be a good idea to turn the tables on Morgan. Yeah. How? His laughter is an expression of ridicule for the law and for the men who respect it. He realizes his laugh unnerves his victims. Are the uh, members of the gang familiar to the townspeople? No, all of them except Morgan mask their faces with neckerchiefs and pull their hats down. In that case, any one of them might enter town without being recognized, is that it? Yeah, I reckon so. Well, I have a plan in mind that might bring Morgan and his gunmen out when the townsmen are ready to receive them. In other words, we might be able to lay a trap for that gang. Hey, if you have a plan, I'd sure like to try it. Good. I suggest you pick 10 or 12 men with steadier nerves than the other townsmen. Have them planted in the cafe uh, tomorrow afternoon. All right. What then? Tell them when a stranger comes in and ridicules Happy Morgan, they're to laugh and agree with him. <laughs> that stranger would have to have more nerve than any hombre I know. If he laughed at Happy Morgan, he'd most likely laugh himself right into Boot Hill. Maybe. Who's the stranger figure on getting to do anything like that, mister? I'll be that stranger, what? Sheriff. You? Yes, I'll be in disguise. My one hope is that at least one of Morgan's men is there to hear what goes on. We'll repeat the performance tomorrow night just to be sure. Then we'll plan a trap for the Morgan gang. By thunder, I sure hope it works. I'll get back to town now and get those men together you want. See you in town tomorrow. So long. Adios, Sheriff. Easy there now. Get up there. The following afternoon, the Lone Ranger, disguised as a prosperous-looking rancher, entered the cafe in Rockton. Howdy, mister. Something for you? No, not right at the moment. Uh, I'm a stranger here. Thought you might answer a few questions. Well, what do you want to know? Is it true this town is pestered by some silly-looking galoot who laughs like a hyena and leads the gang? <laughs> you, uh, you must mean Happy Morgan. Happy Morgan? <laughs> Imagine a full-grown hombre calling himself a loco name like that. He must be plumb foolish in the head. <laughs> hey, uh, now, mister, you better be careful what you say. Yeah? Morgan and his men are mighty mean hombres. <laughs> Man alive. You ought to see the look on your face. You mean to say you get nervous when I talk about an hombre who acts like he's half-witted? <laughs> that stranger sure is a card. Oh, yeah. Reckon he's got half his number. Yes, sir. Mister, if you ever meet Morgan and his gang, you'll know why he's got most everybody in town nervous. Reckon I'd like nothing better than to get a look at a lunkhead who has to bray like a mule to keep up his nerve. <laughs> Imagine a town full of men getting nervous over a would-be bad man who cackles all the time. <laughs> Stranger, I reckon you don't realize who you're poking fun at. I don't? No, you don't. A man here can tell you Happy Morgan's a mighty mean hombre. Man alive. Is he? <laughs> Let me give you a warning. Yeah. Happy Morgan's liable to hear of your remarks and how you laughed at him. If he does, I figure he'll get plenty riled. Well, great day, mister. I hope he don't learn about it. If he got riled, he might not laugh anymore. Then he'd have to change his name. <laughs> uh, easy telling you're not happy from the way you're scowling. <laughs> Reckon I better get out of here pronto and go into hiding. 
What you say makes me so nervous I couldn't hold a glass. <laughs> Mister, you're asking for trouble. Nope. All I want is to be happy. <laughs> I don't mean I want to be that happy. <laughs> I better get out of here before I laugh myself into holding up the place. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> Later that afternoon, the outlaw, Stu, rode to Morgan's hideout and reported about the stranger in the cafe. When he finished, Happy scowled and spoke. You mean he got the men in the cafe laughing about me? He sure did, Happy. Made you out to be a silly fool. No, nobody laughs at Happy Morgan. Nobody, do you hear? Oh, we don't like it any more than you do, Happy. And make a fool out of me, Willie. You get back to town, find out all you can about him, Stu. That snickering stranger don't know it. But if he pulls a stunt like that again, he'll be laughing himself to death. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. A cloud of dust, a flash of light, and a hearty Hayo Morita. The Lone Stranger eats again. What are you doing, stranger? I'm baking up these flaky rich Marita brown and serve rolls, Pronto. Them smell heap good, but no can do over open fire. Why not? It's a on package to bake in medium oven. Well, I made a medium fire. Uh, then it okay, me guess. You guess right, Pronto. These Marita and rich brown and serve rolls bake up to a mouth-watering flaky rich golden brown. The perfect hot rolls for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And they come freshly baked and piping hot from your fire in just six minutes. Uh, that's good for family with many papooses. No, Pronto. The plural of papoose is papoosai. Uh, me may be no good in grammar, but you no good in making coffee. Yeah. Well, do you think it's easy chasing bandits all day and then slaving over a hot fire at night? Tune in again for those thrilling days of yesteryear. The Lone Stranger Eats Again. Now to continue. That evening, Stu was on hand when the Lone Ranger, still in disguise, re-entered the cafe and stood at the bar ridiculing Happy Morgan for the benefit of his picked audience. You know, I figure Morgan sees himself in the mirror every morning, then can't stop laughing all day. <laughs> Mister, what would you do if Morgan came in here right now? Well, now, I reckon I'd ask him what he was laughing at so that I could laugh too. <laughs> well, stranger, I see you're back with your clowning act. Sure am, mister. From what I hear, my act's better than Morgan's, though. He's the only one who laughs when he makes his appearance. <laughs> Why, you jumped clear out of your boots if Happy Morgan busted in here right now. <laughs> From what I hear, Morgan likes to make people get out of their boots. <laughs> of course, if it was tomorrow afternoon when he came in here, I might do a little arguing with him. By that time, I'll collect a certain amount of cash on a deal here in town, and... I wouldn't want to lose it. To my knowledge, nobody ever tried to argue with Morgan. He might stop laughing if somebody did. Then he'd lose his reputation. <laughs> now, look here, stranger. Yeah? I'm not sticking up for Morgan. But I think if he ever met you face to face, you'd lose all that hot air you've been blowing around here. You sure wouldn't feel like laughing. Oh, I don't know, mister. You see, I sure like a good joke. When I see one. <laughs> <laughs> Got to leave now. But I'll be back tomorrow afternoon at 2 and set up refreshments for everybody. Well, we'll I'll have a water cache big enough to make that tin horn Happy Morgan more bug-eyed than he already is. <laughs> so long, everybody. <laughs> Later that night, Stu again reported to Morgan and the gang about the ridiculing stranger. Happy, fuming with anger, sprang from his chair and reached for his gun belt. Hey, Thunder, we're going to town right now and find that loudmouth clown. We'll tear the place apart till we do find him. And I'll laugh in his face as I riddle him with bullets. Ah, wait, Happy, calm down a minute. Wait for what? 
No sneering polecat's going to make a fool of me and get away with it. Now, listen a minute, Happy. Well, I'm just... That stranger's going to get a big wad of cash on a deal tomorrow. He said so. In fact, he boasted about the wad of cash being big enough to... Well, make your eyes bulge. He told everybody he'd be in at 2 o'clock to treat the house. Hey, in that case, Happy, why don't we wait and go then? We can get him and get his cash at the same time. I agree with Gus, Happy. Of course, we're not trying to tell you what to do, understand? But it'd be worth it to see you take the wind out of his sails in front of the townsmen. Sure. 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 Why not think it over, Happy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. (laughs) Yeah, we'll bust into the cafe tomorrow afternoon, just after two. First, I'll take the wind out of his sails. Then I'll ventilate him with every bullet in my gun. Meantime, that same night, the sheriff again visited the Lone Ranger's camp on the outskirts of Rockton. The Lone Ranger spoke. My hope is that Morgan and his gang fall for my story about having a big wad of cash at the cafe tomorrow afternoon and come to get it and me. We'll be ready in case the gang does show up, mister. I'll have men hidden behind the long bar. I'll wait with others outside. Of course, we'll keep out of sight. This may be our chance to trap that gang. Early the following afternoon, Happy Morgan and his men rode toward Rockton. Now, men, we'll bust into that cafe and show that stranger what Happy Morgan's really like. And remember... He's my prize. Yeah, we're right, gonna, yeah. we gonna line everybody up and rob them? Oh, not only that, Gus. Not only that. After I gun the loud mouth, I'll have Stu point out some of the hombres who laugh with him. And while you men keep him covered, I'll gun whip them one at a time. <laughs> yeah, they'll be sure to remember Happy Morgan from now on. We ought to take over the town, Happy. Sure, Maybe we right. will. Maybe we will. Nobody can stop me now. <laughs> Ah, before I'm through, I'll show everybody in the West that nobody can laugh and make fun of Happy Morgan. <laughs> Come on, get out of there! Promptly at two o'clock, the Lone Ranger, again in disguise, entered the cafe. Hey, here's a stranger now. Yeah, he's right on time. The Lone Ranger walked to the end of the long bar where he stood facing the front door. As the men looked at him expectantly, he spoke. Well, man, I promised all of you I'd treat the house today, and I intend to keep my promise. Hey, good, good. But before I do, I want to wait and be sure some customers who were in here yesterday aren't missing out on it. So we'll wait a short time, if it's all right with you. Why, hey, maybe he's waiting for Happy Morgan. Yeah, how about that, mister? Waiting for the Morgan gang to get in on the treat? Well, now, maybe I am. That is, if Morgan could stop his guffawing long enough to take a drink. <laughs> Happy Morgan and his gang. Holy mackerel. Reach everybody. Cover them in. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, you're not very glad to see me, huh? Now, where's that clown who's been putting on a show at my expense? Hmm? <laughs> Point him out to me. <laughs> if you stop that hee-haw long enough to listen, Morgan, I'll tell you that I'm not the clown. You are. That's him, Happy. Why, you snickering coyote. I... Hold it. No. He shot me. Hey, that ain't possible. Gun him down, men. Gun everybody. Gun him. Drop right. those guns. Hey, the sheriff in the doorway. Oh, shoot, you fools. They're afraid. Give it on. Shoot. Get your way out, then. You ask for it. Drop those guns. Oh, Happy Morgan, though wounded, was like a madman as he and his men tried to fight their way out. But guns blazed from behind the long bar and from both doors and all windows. As the townsmen, their courage renewed by the Lone Ranger, fought savagely to subdue the gang once and for all. Many men were wounded. Then, after two of their number and one deputy were killed, the outlaws finally realized they were hopelessly trapped and threw down their guns. Well, by thunder, mister, we got him. Your plan worked. We'll get a doctor to attend the wounded, Sheriff. Oh, it can't be. Nobody can stop Happy Morgan. Nobody. You're stopped, Morgan. Uh, and you and your cutthroats will hang. Uh, 
Tie him up, men, and get him to jail. All right. You're, All right. Let's go. You're the one who did this to me. You made a fool of me. You laughed at me. <laughs> you can't do that to Happy Morgan. Nobody can. <laughs> His mind is snapped, Sheriff. He was a madman on the loose. Uh, he gives me the creeps. Take them away. Uh, get them away. Oh, you can't do that to me. You can't do that. No. Mister, we sure have a lot to thank you for. You were mighty clever to figure out how to break down, Morgan. Oh, hey, mister, what about that promise you made to treat the house? It still goes, Barkeep. There should be enough to pay for it. Oh, hey. Hey, treats for everybody. Uh, Come and get it. Hey, Come on. Boy, hey. <laughs> Look at him, will you? Mister, you sure know human nature. Thanks, Sheriff. Gang, put up big fight, Kim Wasabi. But them finish now. Yes, Happy Morgan and his gang will soon be forgotten, Toto. Sheriff, we'll leave now. We'll come back to see you sometime. I'll always be mighty glad to see both of you. Goodbye. Adios, Sheriff. Adios, everybody. Hi, Adios. Sir. Hey, Sheriff. Who is that hombre? He sure changed all of a sudden. Got real serious life. This whole business was serious to him. He don't really look like you've seen him. He's changed his appearance. So as to go without the mask he usually wears. You see, he's the only Omri I know who could have stopped that madman. He's the Lone Ranger. Remember way back when, when you were a kid growing up, you always found time to make a side trip to the little grocery store down the block. That's where you'd find the big display of Mickey snack cakes. Remember? Didn't it make you happy to pick up a devil delight and take a whiff? What a chocolatey smell. And remember the coconut-sprinkled Jim Jams or the cream-filled banana flips? Well, today, Marita Bakeries still make the Mickey snack cakes you used to love as a kid. That's why Mickey snack cakes are called smile food. The bakers know they're spreading smiles and sunshine wherever Mickey snack cakes are sold. Find a little neighborhood grocery store today or a big modern supermarket. Look for the display of Mickey snack cakes. They're all there like you used to remember. The Devil Delights, the Jim Jams, the Banana Flips. Treat yourself to some fresh memories. Treat yourself to a Mickey snack cake. Have a smile on us. Listen to The Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger and Tonto had ridden at a fast pace and soon reached the grove in which they had pitched camp. <laughs> While Tonto unsaddled the horses, the Lone Ranger removed his disguise and changed into his usual clothes. Then, as the two men prepared to roll into their blankets, the great horse Silver raised his head and whinnied softly. Silver, you're born in Kimosabi. Yes. He's looking toward the gully to the left. Ah. Oh. May not see anyone yet. The moonlight is bright in this clearing. Let's head for the shadows and fast. Ah. From the gully, Nick and Jim saw the masked man and Indian move quickly toward the shadows. Jim spoke. Hey, look, Nick. They suspect something. Hey, that tall one isn't a cowpoke. Look, he's mad. Hey, that's right. Hey, let's gun him anyway. Hurry. All right. Draw your gun. This is it. All right. <laughs> Listen to The Lone Ranger, brought to you by special recording at this same time. The Lone Ranger, a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated, is produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of The Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. <laughs>